It's been a traumatic week for Don's fans. Still shell-shocked by the announcement of the intended departure of Ebi Skodal, to whom they have shown astonishing loyalty, they headed down the East Coast in big numbers to back the team at Tanadice. And the Red Army made it clear that they were still behind the outgoing boss all the way. Um, I'm disappointed he's going to go, but I suppose all good things have to come to an end. As for who's going to take over, well, regardless, I mean, I'm a Don's fan through and through, so I'll still be dodging on this bus every other Saturday. When all's said and done, I don't really see who else is going to come in and do any better with the constraints that have been given to them by the board. I mean, there's no money for the club, so there's no money for players. Who is going to do a better job than Ebb? A lot of the Don's fans forget that Ebb actually took a pay cut to do the job. There's not many folk would do that. From the start, it looked as if the players were determined to make the last few weeks in charge happy days for Skodal. In fact, over eagerness probably cost them the opening goal in this mix-up between Mackie and Maguire. Paul Hegarty furious, but goalkeeper Paul Gallagher wasn't short of courage in the instant. But the Dons did take the lead. Watch the top of your screen for Jim Lachlan's shirt tug on Mickey. <laughs> Referee Willa Young was in no doubt about the offence. And Maguire made up for his earlier miss by sliding home a convincing penalty kick. Paul Gallagher close, but not close enough. Dundee United thought they equalised after a Muller shot was saved by Priest, and Jim Hamilton knocked home the rebound. But it was chopped off. The linesman and the referee agreed that offside was the offence, and they were probably correct. But Paul Hegarty's side did square it with the second penalty of the match. Willie Young adjudged that Russell Anderson was leaning on Jim Hamilton. And from 12 yards, Hamilton continued his goal-scoring streak of form. 1-1. Good spot kick from the Bonn against striker, but the second half was horrifically short of goal mouth action. It was this header from Jim McIntyre, saved by Priest. And then there was this terrific drive from Easton, spectacularly ushered over the bar by Priest. Brilliant stuff, but just not enough of it. And at the end of it all, there was that all too familiar post-match summing up by Ebi Skodal. I have to admit, uh, we didn't play the best of, of games that I know we can do and have done for the last three seasons where we have managed to get into two cup finals, twice into Europe and fourth last season. But there's a lot of pressure on, on the young lads in, in the team just now. So uh, they, they need all the support they can get from, from us, from the staff around them and, and from me as well, who has probably caused some of the problems, uh, uh, to be honest. But I, I was delighted with uh, the effort they put in today. We had so much of the possession and so much uh, advantage to, to cause Aberdeen problems. We, we had that lose of cutting edge, and then if we had a bit of composure in front of goal, it could have been uh, also different. But the players have been like that for the last uh, nine games now, and really, I'm sure sometime it will happen and we'll get the three points.